hi guys welcome to my channel uh, this is my first ever cooking video on youtube i am so excited so for the first video i thought it's best for me to use uh to cook a very traditional zimbabwean meal we're gonna cook a road runner and brown salsa yes i said brown because there are many variations of salsa there's mini meal there's algios uh, uh, and a whole other bunch of grains but i use brown um this is multi-grain from red seal I can't even eat um, white salsa anymore ever since I tasted white, uh, you know this chick? Uh, red so multi grain. So that's what we're doing. Let's get cooking with our chicken. We're gonna take about an hour to cook, so let's get started. Okay, we want to season our chicken so that we can fry it for a little bit, then we cook it in the oven. That's the method I'm gonna use today. So I'm gonna put a tablespoon of flour. I use flour so that when I start frying it, I tap the face one. Then we take some paprika, put that in there, then some baked pepper and some chicken spice. Ooh, that's a lot of chicken spice. Some salt. I'm gonna mix everything together. So I've preheated my pot. I'm gonna put my footer first, right? Oh, you can see that's hot already. We want to brown the meat first. I prefer this method of cooking. I realized that my food tastes better if I cook it this way. So you fry your meat first, brown it. Then uh, you cook it in a sauce slowly in the oven. I find it's so braising. So let's do that. Okay, so now I'm going to remove the meat from the meat so that I can start making the sauce that we're going to cook our meat in. I'm going to start off with the uh, garlic. There you go. Fry that a little bit until it becomes fragrant. Then add an onion. This is just one average onion. Average size. Now, uh, now that our onion is cooked and translucent, we add some grated tomatoes. I used about three small tomatoes. I couldn't find big ones, but it's okay. Right, as you can see, I've cooked. I've got my sauce cooking in here. I'm going to add a cup of chicken stock. There you go. Then I will put back the chicken into the pan. Now, I add um, my rosemary from the garden. I washed it in a little bit of time. Just like that. Then, I cover my pot. Remove from the stove top. Now I'm going to put it in the oven. I've preheated the oven. I'm gonna cook it in the oven for about 30 minutes until it's soft and tender. Pot. I don't think you can cook sauce with a kangaroo pot. I genuinely don't believe it. So, put a cup of ufu. Water. Oh, this is cold water. This is how I cook my sadza. I noticed many people have different ways of cooking their sadza. Keep adding more water to make paste 
this smooth. It just I think it's better people to see what it looks like. So now I'm going to add some boiling water. So the little part I gave it about 15 minutes to the party. So I have one more I think our chicken is almost done, so I'm just going to uh, mona this side. Already, so now it's just to use the cabbage. 